This is section 1-6. Operations with functions. Just as you combine two real numbers using addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, you can combine two functions. Operations with functions. Let f and g be two functions with intersecting domains. Then for all x values in the intersection, the sum, product, difference, and quotient of f and g are new functions defined as follows. If we have f plus g, we add the functions. f minus g, you subtract. f times g, you multiply. f over g, you divide. But we got to be careful because the denominator, uh, the denominator cannot be zero. So we got to be careful. We got to restrict the domain when that happens. Operations with functions. Given f of x equals x squared plus 4x and g of x equals this function and h of x equals 3x minus 5, find each function and its domain. So let's add f and g. We have x squared plus 4x plus the square root of x plus 2. There's not really anything we can combine on this, but we have to restrict the domain because we have a radical. So x plus 2 has to be greater than or equal to 0. So x has to be greater than or equal to negative 2. So the domain is uh, oop, bracket negative 2 to infinity. f minus h. All right, so we have x squared plus 4x. We're going to minus h. 3x minus 5. Uh, we have x squared plus x and then plus 5. And uh, the domain is uh, negative infinity to infinity. There's no restrictions whatsoever on the domain. How about f times h? We have x squared plus 4x and then times h would be 3x minus 5. So let's multiply these together. We have 3x to the third minus 5x squared. That's distributing the x squared through. And then we need to distribute the 4x through. So we have uh, plus 12x squared and then minus 20x. So we have 3x to the third minus, uh, whoop, not 5, not 5. Let's back that up. Oh, it would really knock some things out there. Uh, 3x to the third plus... Uh, 7x squared and then minus 20x. The domain is negative infinity to infinity. There's no restrictions here. There's no radicals. There's no denominators. There's no problems. Let's do h over f. All right, so we have 3x minus 5. There's h divided by f, which is x squared plus 4x. And there's really not much we can do with that as far as simplifying it. But if we uh, factor the denominator... Uh, we find out that x cannot equal 0, x cannot equal negative 4, so our domain is uh, negative infinity to negative 4, union with negative 4 to 0, and then we have uh, 0 to infinity. So we've skipped over negative 4, and we've skipped over 0. Composition of functions. The function y equals x minus 3 squared combines a linear function, y equals x minus 3, with the squaring function y equals x squared. But the combination does not involve addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. None of those. This combination of functions is called composition. It is a result of one function being used to evaluate a second function. In the composition f, composition g, which is read f composition g or f of g, the function g is applied first and then f. So we have, uh, we're given this function, these two, f and g, find each of the following. All right, so we're going to plug g, we're going to take x minus 4, we're going to plug that in for the x in the f. So you take the inside, the second one, plug it into the first one. So g goes into f right there. So f of g of x is equal to, we have x minus 4 squared plus 1. It's a replacement. We're replacing this x with x minus 4. Well, now we can multiply this out. x squared minus 8x plus 16 plus 1. That's, uh, let's see, x squared minus 8x and then plus 17. And there are no restrictions on the domain. There's no, um, there's no radicals and there's no denominators. Well, now what if we take x squared plus 1 and we plug it into this x right there? That's what g of f of x is going to be. So g of f of x is equal to x squared plus 1, there's the x being replaced with x squared plus 1, and then minus 4. So that's x squared minus 3. That's a minus, minus 3. No restrictions on that domain. There's no radicals. Uh, there is no uh, denominators. Well, now how about f of g of 2? Well, we've already done f of g. Now all we have to do is plug 2 into this right here. We'll plug 2 in. 
Uh, so we get 2 squared minus 16 plus 17. Uh, that's going to be 4 minus 16 plus 17. That's negative 12 plus 17. And the answer is 5. Find a composite function with a restricted domain. So find f of g. All right, we're going to plug g. We're going to plug g in for f. So this g, x squared minus 9, is going to go in for that x right there. So f of g of x is equal to 1 over. And then we have uh, x squared minus 9 plus 1. Well, that's 1 over uh, x squared minus 8. So now we have a restricted domain because we can't allow the denominator to be zero. So x squared minus eight cannot be zero. So x squared cannot be eight. So x cannot be plus or minus two square root of two. So uh, if they want the domain, if we're asked for the domain, it's a negative infinity to negative two square root of two, union with negative two square root of two to two square root of two, and then union with 2 squared to 2 to infinity. So there's the restricted domain for this composition. Uh, what if we do, let's see, what do we want now? Find f of g. So g in for f. g in for f right there. We're going to replace this x. So f of g of x is equal to, we have x minus 3 square root of x minus 3 squared, and then minus 2. Now we end up with x minus 3 minus 2 which is x minus 5. Now we got to look at the domain of the result, but we also have to look at the domain of the inside function. You always have to look at the inside function for its domain. Now this x minus 5 came from this right here, so x minus 3 has to be greater than or equal to 0. So x has to be greater than or equal to 3. So we have uh, 3 to infinity. And sure, the result has no restrictions, no radicals, no denominators, but it's probably more important as to where this function came from. And we have to look at that domain as well. So always look at the result and the inside function for the domain restrictions. Decompose a composite function. Find two functions f and g such that h of x equals f of g of x. Neither function may be the identity function or, or f of x equals x. So what if we did f of x is equal to, let's see, I need f of g, I need g plugs into f. How about we have square root of x and g of x is equal to x to the third minus 4. So that when we plug this, when we replace this x with x to the third minus 4, we get that h of x. All right, and how about uh, this one? Can we take out a 2x squared plus 10x plus 25? And this is 2 times x plus 5 squared f of x can be 2x squared, and g of x now can be x plus 5. 